Some 25, 30 years ago, I saw a cinema, Kannada cinema. In that Kannada cinema, the context was that a girl was a bed wedding. Bedman. So, she was taken to a psychiatrist. That psychiatrist, the Jewish Kamlaad was the psychiatrist in that cinema. He asked me some questions. Afterwards, he said, if Bhagwan Kantakshu Bhagwan Var Mango Varita, Aap Kitne Deen Var Mango Varita, Aap Kya Var Mango Varita? If Bhagwan, if in front of you and ask you to ask some bones, which bones you ask? The girl replied, the first bone, that is first vara, I asked, her younger brother was out of home. Let him return to home. This is the first bone I am asking. The second vara I ask is, I want to take the rebirth as a donkey. Now Kathya and Buddha. I want to take rebirth as a donkey. Why do I want to take rebirth as a donkey? I want to kick my method's teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to take rebirth as a donkey. This is the state of affairs in the curriculum. Mathematics. Though we love it is a serious thing. So, <clears throat> why this uh, impression is there? Because we do not teach as it should be taught. Coming to Lilavati. In classical verse, what was the tradition? In any classical work, it starts from the word Siddhi and the word ends in the word Vriddhi. Usual tradition, Sampradaya, starts from the word Siddhi and the word Vriddhi. Uh, ends in the world. Usually, the first shloka will be the question, and the last shloka will be the answer. In the in first shloka, there will be Buddhesha, why this work is written. And in the last shloka, Kalashruti. In Gita, Karma Chetre, Kuru Chetre, Mama. This is the question. But in the last shloka, Yatra Yoga Shara Krishna, Yatra Pato, Yatra, that is the answer. So, they have assembled them. What is their potential? The last shloka. So, also, we shall see in the first shloka, <coughs> we love it. Read of the first story. Who's the one? Who's the one? Read of the first story. Yes, get. Yeah. First story. Uh, now, read ha. You read it. Reading what the genesis is your genetic reading. Yaha Sutaha San Vignam Vinignam and that madam Hans, we ask you for the English translation of the word. For English translation, one should refer to Kulpun's translation. <coughs> now, Yaha Smrta Asan Vignam Vinignan Bhakta Janasya. Bhakta Janasya, that is 
offered worship us. Weeping Janayate Festos happiness. So it is better once you go through the translation of Urdu. If you don't understand, then word by word meaning I will come So Urdu's translation is there. It is according to the Anvaya itself. So having both to the deity whose head is like an elephant's, that is here Matangananam. Ananam, that is face. Matangananam, elephant's face. Matangananam. Party, usually arithmetic is called by the name Party Gadi. Sad Gadi, the same watch me, I will tell you. So, having go to the deity, whose head is like an elephant's, whose feet are adored by gods, who when called to mind release his uh, odoris from embarrassment and bestows happiness on, on his worshippers, I propound I propound this easy process of conversation, delightful by its elegance. Hmm. The speakers with words concise, soft and correct and pleasing to this learning. Uh, no, the next, next in Canada. Uh, Canada is a I have translated it in Canada. In the Canada people may follow it. Yal Yava Devaru, Smarisitakshana, Hatta Janara, Vishnagara to Nivarasi, Santoshman to Punta Maduva, no. Sujati Kunavarika Vishatangi, Sat Kulot Panda Sushila Dimas, 
ಗುಣಾಲಂಕೃತ ಶರೀರ ಶುದ್ಧಾಚಲ ವ್ಯಾಪಕತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಲೀಲಾವತಿ ಕಂಠಾಶಕ್ತ ಹೃದಯ ಅಸ್ತಿ ತಾಂ ಯಹ ಲೋಕೆ ಖಲು ಸುಖ ಸಂಪತ್ತ ಸದೈನ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಹೂ ಮ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಎ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ವಿತ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ಪ ಶ್ಲೇಷಾರ್ಥ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ So, this is about the first sloka and the last sloka. To understand a subject, we need some definitions and some processes. Now, how we were used to write in numerals, numbers, that number, a counting number. Principle, I will take tomorrow. But today only notation, symbols. Now, if I write, <coughs> So, I am writing 3 in the 100th place, 2 in the 10th place and 7 in the 20th place. While I am reading, I read it as 327. If there are more numbers, then what I will do? I will start from a come down, a come solid. I go on from right to left and then making some notations, I will read from left to right. So, in the morning it's a fast day, Ankana Vamato. So, while uh, Rachana, Granda Rachana, this uh, numbers cannot be, if it will be tedious and will not be possible using these numbers in Granda. So, if we use word numerals, that is Buddha Sankhya. Buddha Sankhya. For easy versification, some new systems were evolved. In addition to the usual Sanskrit counting words, the word numerals is called Buddha Sankhya, object numbers. In this, the numbers are denoted by names of things, beings, ideas, or concepts with traditionally connotes some sense of number. Thus the word Veda. Veda stands for four because there are four Vedas. And the Rudra, that is, the Rudra stands for level. Now, for example, in Bhaskara, for example, the famous Bhaskara second, there was one uh, astronomer by name Bhaskara in 7th century who is a disciple of Aryabhata first. Uh, he is called as uh, Bhaskara first and Bhaskara Jaya Atharth Nila is called as Bhaskara second. Express his birth year as Rasa Guna Purna Mahi. Rasa, Shad Rasa, Guna Triguna, Sattva Rajatama. Purna that is zero, Mahi that is birth, it is one. So Rasa Guna, Rasa, Rasa Guna Purna Mahi starting from right towards left. Rasa, that is 6, 3, 0, 1. 6, 3, 0, 1. 6, 3, 0, 1. This is Shaka. Shaliwala Shaka. 6,036 is the Shaka year in which he took his birth. To convert it into common era, we should add 78 years. If we add 78 years, it will be 1140. So, 1140 was the year of his birth of Bhaskaracharya. And he wrote his 
ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಾಲ ಲೀಲಾವತಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಡೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಶಿರೋಮಣಿ ಈಸ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಖಾನ್ ಈ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಸಮ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಉಪನಂದ ಹತ ಕಬಾಣ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಆಕಾಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಥ್ರೀ ನಂದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ನಂದ ನವನಂದ ನೈನ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅನಂದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಖಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಬಾಣ ಮನ್ಮತ್ತ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬಾಣಸ್ ಶರತ್ ಬ ನಂದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಎರಡ್ ಬೈ ಕ ಬಾಣ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೋಲ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಅನಂದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಹತಃ ಖಬಾಣ ಸೂರ್ಯ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀಸ್ ಡಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬೈ ಚತುರ್ಥಿಸ್ If we divide the numerator and denominator given by Halima, given by Aryabhata, we will not have this value. So, in the form of a verse, the uh, Mahavira Chara gives the words which we do not to numerals. Shashi, Somascha, Chandraito, Pradhanyasha, Vajayitara, Shvetam, Himga, Ropancha, Mridam, Kachikalatara, these are all the names of the moon there is only one moon for the earth so moon and stands for the numeral one likewise agni vay so these are the bhuta sankhyas the, the uh, names of the articles or names of the concepts or names of the things which we use to denote numerals this is a about two sankhya uh, next so zip he starts from zero and he starts from one up to zero that is one two three nine and zero next now for example he gives an example using these uh, put sankhya saw an example what is the example ಗತಿ ಖರದುರಿತೆ ಭಾಂಗೋದಿತ ಅಕ್ಷಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಕೃತಿ ನವ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವನ್ ಮಿಂದು ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಲಧರ ಪಥ ರಂಧ್ರೇಷ್ಟಕಾಂ ಘನ ಘನಾಂ ಗಣಕ ಗಣಿತ ದಕ್ಷಾ ಚಕ್ಷ ಮೂಲ ಪರೀಕ್ಷ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಮಹಾವೀರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ರೂಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಗತಿ ಕರ ದುರಿತ ಇವ ಅಂಬೋದಿ ತಾಕ್ಷ ಚೌಜಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಕೃತಿ ನವ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ವನ್ನಿ ಇಂದು ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಲಧರ್ಪಥ ರಂಧ್ರ ಇಶು ಅಟ್ಟಕ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯೂರಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ರೀಡ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ you think they are the whole number so he has given the names for the places place and ekam dam chatu ek dasha chatu so he has given up to 20 of places we knew the uh, names of places of up to 97 now giving some historical background in the ramayana hmm. yeah up to 97 digits names of places up to 97 digits yeah there are names up to 97 digits yeah ha ah, 10 to the power of 97 10 to the power of 96 ಆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸಬ್
coming to our Ramayana and Mahabharata. Lakshmana was very angry with Sugriva. When he came to Sugriva, so you have broken the agreement between uh, Rama and you. So Tara came in front of you. And uh, one of the ministers of Sugriva was explaining, we have got so much of army, we will find out where Sita is. And by narrating the number of army, he says, Rundam. So, uh, next, Sith, Old Sith, Numeration in Ramayana. So, you go to the presentation of the Chasin, operation for it. The number goes up to 10 raised to 62. It is called as Oga and Maha Oga. So, Vanarasena. Uh, so much uh, army is there of Vanarasena. Now, if we examine it, now taking the surface of earth is covered with the one by one slab. Taking the complete surface of earth with one foot by one foot slab, how many such slabs will be there? Its number is 10 raised to 50. 10 raised to 50. So, if one Vanara stands on one slab, then what is the number of Vanaras that can stand on whole surface of the earth is only 10 raised to 50. Whereas, there, it is narrated that Oga Mahavad 10 raised to 62. So we require at least 10 raised to 55 earths to accommodate that army. So here we should not take word by word. Utpreksha Alankar. It is Utpreksha Alankar. Now if we compare this with the Europe, sir, then myriad and milli are the highest numbers. Is it available in Mula Ramayana? Yeah, it is in Mula Ramayana. And uh, every quotations I have, and uh, I will give all the references. So, in uh, uh, that is in uh, Mahabharata also we find about Akshayini. Akshayini. Uh, what is the number of Akshayini? So. This is a narration of numbers in Ramayana and Mahabharata. Afterwards, in the curriculum, 10 raised to 18, up to 10 raised to 18 is the standard table. The 10 raised to 17, or 10, 10 raised to 18, under 1 followed by 17 zeros, it is a paratha. So, why only that, those things? Then we have to study Aryabhatas, Aryabhatiya, Alphabetical numeration, then we find that the cost why we have stopped only up to 80. Because in Sanskrit, irrespective of Deer uh, and Rasta, there are 9 swaras. And the 9 swaras, if you consider Rasta and Deer, there are only 18 places. So, alphabetical numeration, then uh, the numbers are denoted by alphabets. And there are consonants. And Swaras. Vargiya Venjana, Avargiya Venjana. So, they are classified consonants and unclassified consonants. They are classified consonants, how they are classified and what this is they are classified. Kavarga, to, 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 ka, kavarga, chavarga, tavarga, tavarga, pavarga. Kanthya, talavya, mudhanya, dantya, and vodhya. So, this we should teach to the students Vargi Evangena. So starting from third to Uma it is 25. So I will take it in the next class of for about the Aryabhata cinema. Uh, next problem. So uh, first the next problem it is the cube root. Cube root of the this number is so much 9,50,604 in the cube root of the upper number. Uh, <coughs> this is uh, narrated by Mahavira Chara in this Ganita Sarasan Next. In 
in arithmetic by uh, multiplication is there some some interesting numbers nandya dridi shara chatus kritva vandvaikam stapya matra navagunitam aacharya mahaviraihi katitam narapana kandika varanam kandha varana that is symmetric these are the symmetric numbers now uh, 1 2 3 4 up to 7 excluding the i write 9 then multiply by 9 you will obtain those numbers uh, symmetric number he has called those numbers as kantha this is kantha varma this is uh, raja kantha varma maharaj kantha varma hmm. next these numbers you see in uh, mathematics of shakuntala devi without acknowledging the to study the parts and the half next so different types of kantha varna are there we can decipher only if you know what is Buddha Sancha. That's why I have taken first of all world numbers that is Buddha Sancha. Kiri Guna Divi, Kiri Guna Divi, Kiri Guna Divi, Guna Guna Divi, Guna Divi, Guna Divi, these are all the uh, <coughs> multiplicand, multiplier and uh, the product. So this is, these are the special numbers. How he has found Found out these numbers in the 8th century itself. Show the words once again. What is the first? Kiri, Guna, Divi. Kiri, Guna, Divi. Kiri, that is 7. Guna, 3. Divi, 0. 7, 3, 0, 7, 3, 0, 7, 3, 0. Next. Was from Brahmanta, Brahmaswara Siddhanta using the Buddha Sankhya. Next. The specialty of this is Shashan ke Indu, Khai ke Indu. So, Yenka stands for Shashanka Indu. So, he has used the names of Buddha Sankhya along with the name of that Sankhya itself. Next. Kela RFTA Parampara. This is the value of by using Buddha Sankhya Shloka. It is up to 10 raised to 11 decimal places. Next. Now, Sreshat, coming again to Sreshat, there were 15 Brahmins and there were 15 thieves. They were dragons were traveling from one village to other village. It is, they were 15 thieves <coughs> to rob the 15 dragon. In the midst, there come a Rakshasa. Hmm. And the, the Rakshasa, they have to come out to fight with the Rakshasa. Then they came to an agreement. They told the Rakshasa, we are in all 30. If we fight 30 together with you, you may be perished. So we shall have an agreement. We will stand in the form of a circle. You start counting from one. You eat every tenth person. Only fifteen persons you should eat. Then that Brahmanas enchanted a shloka. What shloka they have enchanted is good. Each and a Kukalam, Mahabhutanta, Kam Yamayu Soma, Nayakaram, Yamakanayan, Nasakaro, Budokam, or Rutas, they have enchanted this sloka. By enchanting this sloka, the Rakshasa ate all the 15 thieves. So, is it because of this enchanting this sloka, or is there something hidden in this sloka? Actually, there is some hidden meaning in this sloka. That is, it is formation of uh, 30 persons how, how they should stand. E chana, e chana means I. So I there it stands for two. First of all, two brahmins. Two, two means earth. One, one eight. Kala, three kala, then three brahmins. So this is the formation in which they have to stand. 
when they stand in that formation, when they starting from anywhere, when the Rakshasa counts 1 to 10th, so the every 10th will be a thief. So, this is <coughs> today we uh, in case uh, patent. So, these are all patents <laughs> in the ancient times. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Josephus problem, it is in the uh, about uh, thousand year AD. Prior to the, this was there. Uh, in Josephus problem, and then there are Jews and Christians, and uh, Muslims and Christians. Uh, so actually these have travelled to Europe through traders. And also scholars. Now we call this problem by Josephus problem. It is found in uh, B. Smith's uh, history of mathematics. So uh, wherever we find these things, we have to correct it by ancient days. Vipratastara, Vipratastara, Sampat Grama, Sampat, that is formation. Next. Going to fill out the area. Now we shall see some verses in Lila. Second verse of Lila. Varataka nam dashaka dvayam yat sa kakine. Kascha Panas Chattasraha Te Shodasha Drama Ihava Gamyo Dramas Tatha Shodasha Vishya Nishkaha. So, Varataka, Kauri, uh, Kauris. I think uh, everybody knows what is meant by Kauris. They were used in the form of faces. Hmm. Ah. Dada, Kauris. Twenty Varatakas um, make one Kakini. Kakini may be now considered as a paise. Single paise. It may be considered as a paise. Twenty Varatakas makes one Kakini. Four Kakinis, one Pana. And sixteen Panas, one Brahma. Sixteen Brahmas, one Nishka. The word Dhamma. Dhamma came from Apagramsha Brahma. Hana, we say Hana. Hana is nothing but Pana. The unit of measure of money is Pana. That is Pana is now in the languages, Indian languages, Hana. And the Brahma as Dham. Pana. Okay. So it retains its original form. Next, next. This is about many, post uh, account of money measure. Next. Tulle Yava Bham Katita Gunja. One less Tigunjo, Zanamcha Teshka, the Tiana Kasta Dwe in the Tulle, one less Tataiko, Hataka, Pradishtaha. It is not Hataka, it should be Hataka. Two Yava. Weight of two Yava is equal to one Gunja. Why do we mean? Teaching, we should teach the English name of this Gunja also, and if possible, botanical name of Gunja also. Two Yavas, one Gunja. Three Gunja makes one Valna. Eight Valnas, one Vishrana. Two Dharnas, one Vedyanaka. And fourteen Valnas, this is one Hataka. No, not it is not Hataka, it is Hataka. Because I have referred about 10 editions of Milarati. After referring to 10 editions, I came to the conclusion that Hataka is the part hunter is wrong, Hataka is correct. Well, Vakara, 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 Vakara is interchangeable, not a drawing term. Dashaga Kuncha Pravadanti Masham, Masha Vaye Shodasha Vishya Karsham, Karsha Ishchatur Ven Paramukha. 
is all about the measures used in ancient times. So, now coming to Khanama Siddhi Alas, Khanama Siddhanta. Khanama Siddhanta. I think uh, anybody among you, what is Khanama Siddhanta? What is Siddhanta? Or what is the principle? What is the essence of principle? Principle should hold good irrespective of uh, the uh, person or irrespective of the notation, irrespective of the symbol. That is called as principle of Siddhanta. Sthana Mana Siddhanta. Counting by using bundles is Sthana Counting using not the one to counting not individually. Counting using bundles. So which in one to bundle, how much it contains is that Siddhanta. Dasha. For example, decimal system. Dashamana. That means in every bundle there is 10. So there will be how many loose units? There will be one less than that base number. In the Dashamana Paddhati, there will be bundle of 10. So there will the unit in BD or unit place there will be only 9. That is one less than the uh, bundle. So, 1 to 9 are the unit place. Next, if it attains another number, then it will be a bundle of 10, not a 9. So, in the morning itself, we said, whichever is nearer to nature survives, and whichever is not nearer to nature will perish. Now, this Dashmana has survived. Why? How it is nearer to nature? Well, <coughs> starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, what should I do next? When 9 months are completed, there will not be only one person. After 9 months, there will be two. So, the one person becomes two. So, this is nearer to nature. So, she becomes mother. So, one zero. One, 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 one. What next? Next, Two, 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 two. What next? Three. What next? So, up to nine. Ashta Putra So, up to nine. What after nine? Then she becomes grandmother. <laughs> so, Unka now, Vamakota. While teaching, we should teach from 0 to 9, not up to 10. From not 1 to 10, we should teach from 0 to 1. Then, zero, from 0 to 1, all these zero, zeros. Next, after 0, 1. After 1, 2, 9. Then again 0, more to 1. Okay. Now, Sthanamana Siddhanta, again coming to Sthanamana Siddhanta. Our question was, is it possible to express place value system in the formation, form of an equation? Huh. Now, we should derive the equation. Now, considering the earlier example, having some flowers initially in and, and placing the flowers in front of the tiny. In, in case of three temples, how many flowers you should have initially? Seven flowers. How many flowers you should keep in front of the deity? Eight flowers. Hmm. Now, <laughs> why 
काउंटिंग बंडल्स बंडल्स में भी आप टेन बंडल्स में भी आप फाइव बंडल्स में भी आप टू वेन वी यूज बंडल्स ऑफ टेन वी कॉल इट एज दशमान पद्धति वेन वी यूज द बेस फाइव इट इज पेंटा वेन वी यूज ओनली टू इट इज फाइव नौ इफ एनी प्रॉपरली शुड बिकम ए सिद्धांत नौ The greatest number in decimal system is nine. Now we shall make uh, the table of nine in our hand. Using two hands, we form the table of nine. For the first finger, this is uh, nine ones are nine. Second finger, nine ones are eighteen. This is one and eight. So nine two is it is eight. Nine three is it is. Two and seven, nine fours are three, six. So last nine tens are nine and zero. So, so for decimal system, if we use our both hand, it is alright. So for with base five, we should use only one hand. And what is the greatest number in with base five? Four is the greatest number. In case of decimal system, we write the table of nine like this: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is table of nine. What are the property of table of nine in decimal system? The same property should be there in the table of four. Then we take five as the base. Then only we it can be called as siddhanta. That is very practical. Now take for example one hasta only. Now we are making table of four in penta system. So when I fold my first finger, four ones are. Four. Next, four twos are four twos are one here and three here. This one represents five raised to one, not ten. We are counting with the base five. Therefore, this represents five raised to one, and these three five raised to zero. So five plus three is eight. So four twos are is five and three. And five threes are two. Two into five is to one. Two into five is to zero. Next four into four. Three into five is to one. And one into five is to zero. So if we take only two, close, open, open, close, off, on, off, on. Let's connect the make the connection. How to take out? Uh, take out the connection. So then starts computer. So that is binary system. Now coming to our original problem of uh, flowers. Two raised to zero. Two raised to one. Two raised to two. Two raised to three. Two raised to four. Two raised to five. Two raised to six. Now, what is two raised to zero? Is one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and so on. Once a mathematics mathematician was caught cold as a thief. Uh, there was accusation on him. He said thief. The, then he said, "I am a mathematician. I am not a thief." So. How to verify whether he is a thief or not? Then he called his prime minister and uh, told him to verify whether he is a thief or mathematician. The mathematician then uh, minister gave him uh, seven empty bags. How many? Seven empty bags and one twenty seven coins. He told him to put uh, those coins in the seven empty bags as per his will and wish. Tomorrow I will come and ask for some coins. 
in the, you put the files in those empty bags and bind it in and seal it by Raja Mudra. And you may have note down how many coins you have put in each bag by numbering the bag. In first bag I have put so many numbers, in second bag I have put so many coins. You should be able to give the number of coins I asked lifting the thaila itself, the empty bag itself, without putting your hand in the uh, bags. You should be able to give the bags. Then the next day, uh, when Prime Minister came and asked him, he gave us the correct numbers and uh, only from the bags, and, uh, with the remaining bags as uh, the price the dollar. So, what were the number of coins put in each bag? In first bag, how many coins he has put? So that he should be able to give any number from 1 to 127 by only merely by those uh, seven bags. Can anyone answer it? Now, again, coming to this uh, lower problem. Uh, if uh, seven, pro seven is nothing but seven is equal to two raised to zero plus two raised to one plus two raised to two is equal to seven. 2 raised to 3 is 8. 8 is nothing but 2 raised to 3. There are 3 temples. So, so the number of flowers kept in front of each deity is 2 raised to 3. So what is the number of flowers in initially in his hand? They are 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 3. That is sum of the previous numbers. 2 raised to 3 is the number to be kept in front of the time. It is equal to 8. Sum of the previous number. Now, previous numbers in binary system are 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 1 and 2 raised to 0. 4, 2 and 1. Sum of these is 7. It is 1 less than the next number. Or, in binary system, pay 2 raised to n. What is 2 raised to n? 2 raised to n, if I want to write in the form of an equation, 2 raised to n is nothing but 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 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 up to 2 raised to n minus 1 plus 1. Is it correct? Yeah. Next, if instead of doubling, if you take uh, four temples, then initially how many flowers we should have? We should have 15, 16 flowers should be kept. If there are five temples, 32 flowers should be kept and 31 flowers should be kept. That is 2 raised to n and it will up sum of 2 raised to 0 up to 2 raised to n minus 1. This I will write it as 2 raised to n is equal to 2 minus 1 into that. Is there any change? There is no change. 2 raised to n is equal to 2 minus 1 into 2 raised to 0 up to 2 raised to 9. Now I am uh, using, I am not using sigma because there it may not be followed by some fellows. In short, it, it can be right, written as 2 raised to n is equal to sigma from 0 to n minus 1 2 raised to r where r is equal to 0 to n minus 1 so in the form of the equation 2 raised to n is equal to sigma r is equal to 0 to n minus 1 2 raised to r one yeah. is summation so instead of sigma yeah because there are persons who do not know sigma etc that's why i am writing it here now coming to if they are the number of flowers are tripled then what happens? Consider initially we shall consider only three temples. So what should be the number of flowers in initially in hand? No, 
Anybody? Three temples only. Instead of doubling, they are tripled. That you take dip in the Pushkarni, the number of flowers will be tripled. Q. Anybody? Now I will write. Three raised to zero, three raised to one, three raised to two, three raised to three, three raised to four, and so on. So, 3 raised to 0 is 1, 3 raised to 1 is 3, 3 raised to 2 is 9, 1 to 7, 8 to 1, etc. So, <coughs> 1 plus 3 plus 9. Hmm. How many? 13. Initially, we should have 13 flowers in our hand. They will be tripled. 13 into 3, 39. Keep 27 flowers. That is 3 raised to 3. 39 minus 27 is 12. Again, 12 into 3 is 36. <coughs> Keep 27. Maybe it will be 9. 9 into 3, 27. So, our problem is correct. So, initially we should have 13 flowers. <laughs> that is 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 1. 3 raised to 1 plus 3 raised to 2. And 3 raised to 3 is 27. So 27 is equal to 27 is equal to 2 into 13 plus 1. That is 2 into 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 1 plus 3 raised to 2. Or I will write it as 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 into 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 1 plus 3 raised to 2 plus 1. So, here any number in binary system is one more than the sum of the previous numbers. In binary system, any number, any binary number is one more than the sum of the previous numbers. In ternary system, that is with base 3, any number is one more than the twice the sum of the previous numbers. That means 2 is one more than 1, 4 is one more than the sum of 2 and 1, 8 is one more than sum of 4 plus 2 plus 1, 16 is 1 more than 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. Here, 3 is 1 more than twice of 1. 9 is 1 more than twice this sum of 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Twice 3 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 27 is 1 more than the twice of this sum of 9, 3 and 1. So, 81 is one more than the twice this sum of 27, 9, 3 and 1. So, there is one other problem. There was a big stone, main stone of 40 k. How much? 40 k. It broke into four pieces. It broke into four pieces such that anything can be weighed from one case to 40 k. So, what is the weight of each Piece. What is the weight of each piece? I think you have understood the problem. Question. There is a stone, weighing stone of 40 kg. It is broken up into four pieces in such a way that using those four pieces, anything can be weighed in round figures from 1 kg to 40 kg. What is the weight of each piece? Is nothing but the, the same problem of flowers. 1, 3, 9, 1 into 3, 1, 1 into 3, 3, 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 3, 9, 7. 1 kg, 3 kg, 9 kg. So, now, if we continue like this, 2 raised to 0, 3 raised to 0, next 4 raised to 0. If the flowers are multiplied by 4 times. If the flowers are multiplied by 5 times. So, 
that is multiple is considered by the base number b let b be the base number then let b raised to n b raised to n is equal to b minus 1 into sigma r from 0 to n minus 1 b raised to r this is the Anamana Siddhanta in the form of an equation. Tell me Anamana Siddhanta in form of an equation is nothing but b raised to n. b raised to n is equal to b minus 1 into sigma r from 0 to n minus 1 b raised to r. Taking an example that b is equal to 10. Let b is equal to 10. <coughs> Let b is equal to 10 and n is equal to 4. So 10 raised to 4. 10 raised to 4 is nothing but b minus 1. 10 minus 1 into 10 raised to 0 plus 10 raised to 1 plus 10 raised to 3. Then is 3 plus 1. You should have writing from that. Then is 2 plus 1. Plus 1. Ah, yeah, fine. In sigma, so there should be plus 1. Then is 2. 2. Now, I will write 10 is to 0. Plus 10 raised to 1 because I am going to find the positive. Plus 10 raised to 2. 10 minus 1. So 9 into 100 plus 10 plus 1. Plus 1 is equal to 10 for 1. Am I correct? Yeah, <laughs> 10 is to 3 should be used. So, plus 10 is to 3. So, you add here 10 is to 3, that is common. So, 1, 1, 1. That, that is 9 into 1, 1, 1. That will be 9999. Plus 1 will be 10. So, this is. Sthanamana Siddhanta at the depth. So, merely saying there are 10 symbols and uh, using the greatest number will be 1 less than 4. No, no. You develop from some take some example and generalize it. Then, this is the Siddhanta. So, we should teach if Sthanamana Siddhanta like this one, then we, they will have insight of the subject. If we ourselves do not have insight of the subject, how can we teach to these youngsters? So, this is all about the Hanamana Siddhanta. So, I think it is sufficient for this class. Any doubts and questions you may ask me? Place. Place. Mana. Mana is according to the sthana. Though he may be a SLC fair man, when he sits on the chair of a chief minister, he gets the value of the minister. Sthana. Sthana, mana. Sthana, panna. So, once it is said that in one of these Sanskrit verses, I do not remember that verse, but Nepal Raja was going through a Bail in the Nepal. There came a pig with its uh, tail. <laughs> so, something of yellow color from the tail of uh, that pig gone and sat on the forehead of that Raja. So, people were saying, see how awkward he is. Just now he has completed uh, 
पूजा एंड केम ओवर हियर एंड इवन द गंगा इज नॉट ड्राइड अप सो सो ऑर्थोडॉक्स इज इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्थान व्हेन इट वाज इन द टेक ऑफ पिंक इट वाज नॉट देयर व्हेन इट इज ऑन द फोरन ऑफ द राजा इट बिकेम गंधा गंधा इन हिंदी बिकेम गंध इन सन वन मोर थिंग फॉर संस स्कॉलर्स वाइल एक्सप्लेनिंग सूत्रस संपाक्षरम असंदिग्धम यू शुड ऑफ टेलिंग यू टेल दैट सूत्र डेफिनेशन ऑफ सूत्र टेक एन एग्जांपल यू शुड ऑफ दैट इफ यू टेक एन एग्जांपल विच आई विल नॉट शो वाइज पीपल विल ओनली टॉक एंड पर्संस हु वर्क से पागल है काम करने वाला जो है ना पागल है सो मैड पर्सन विल वर्क बट वाइज पर्सन विल ओनली टॉक सो आई इक्वेट मैड इज इक्वल टू वर्क सो वर्क इज कंसिडर्ड बाय डब्ल्यू एंड द पर्सन हु वर्क इज ए मैड सो यम इन टू ए If Yam stands for mass and A stands for acceleration, then Yam is A equal to Yf. Yf is D stands for distance. Then force into distance mode is the work done. So this is a formula. So instead of going all round, sal paacharam masan dikdam saravatam, so it is correct. But give an example so that who do, do not have the background of Sanskrit. Can understand what is the formula. Formula is an aid to memory. It is an aid to memory containing the essence of the uh, thing which is exhibited. So work is equal to force into distance. Force is equal to mass into acceleration. So this, like this, you have to teach both Sanskrit and this science. Okay.